Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial video on Simba. This tutorial will focus on the creation of sub-circuits and of custom libraries. This feature can help you to organize your schematic, for example, to separate your control schematic from your power one, or to repeat the same part of a circuit. Let's show this from an existing schematic of a single phase controlled rectifier. Here, we're going to create a subcircuit for the control of the delay angle turn on. For the first step, select the part of your schematic you want to include in your subcircuit. Then click on subcircuit. It automatically creates a subcircuit component. To go into this component, just select it and click on open, and you can recognize the control schematic of the delay turn on. If you want to add an input or output pin, go through the library panel and you can notice that you have a new library with all the required pins for subcircuits. If you rotate an input or output pin, it automatically changes the connection direction in the upper main circuit as shown here. This subcircuit can now be copied and pasted to be used for the second leg of the rectifier. Note that if one subcircuit is modified, this modification will automatically be applied for all the copies in your schematic. To go further, this subcircuit can be added to a custom library. First, create your custom library. Select the subcircuit you want to add to your library. Add a new subsystem. You can pick up a name and the prefix of your subcircuit and choose the option from current selection for the initial content. You can now use this component in all the designs of your project. This concludes this tutorial video on the creation of subcircuits and custom libraries.